Do you want the best bang for the buck with your airsoft rifle? Well, the great news is KWA has come out with these new EVE KOs, and they are just absolutely amazing. So KWA is a well-known brand. They've been around forever, as long as I've been playing airsoft. And one thing that I really love about KWA is they keep innovating and keep making things fresh. They did that with the KWA T6, RK47, TK45, T6, and T10. Well, then they said, we made an awesome gun, but we want to make something that's a little less expensive. So what they did, which is interesting in comparison to a lot of other manufacturers, they took their robust gearbox that's in their higher end guns, like the T6 and the TK45, and they put it in a custom polymer body. And that's how they came out with these two new guns, the Eve 4 and the Eve 9. And we're gonna go over what makes these guns the best bang for the buck in the airsoft market today. So let's start out with the KWA E4. Now the E4 and the E9 are gonna be pretty much 99% similar. There's just a few different uh, changes that they do to the externals. With the E series, you're gonna get this proprietary receiver. Now this proprietary receiver has an integrated motor grip here, as well as an integrated trigger guard and this unique kind of like MP5 SMG style upper, which includes an integral rail. Now, something that's interesting about this rail is most rails protrude on the side, so they usually have a bump out. KWA decided to make it smooth, so actually you get like a tighter, thinner grip to the front rail. They also include this little M-lock grip here on both models, and you can either use it, not use it, it's just a nice little extra. To change the hop up, they have this side cocking kind of MP5 style charging handle here, which allows easy access to change the hop up. One of the cool features that they include on this body, which you only see sometimes with higher end guns, is an ambidextrous mag release. So they give you one on here, a push button, and then they give you a lever style one on this side. Um, just like any other airsoft gun, it is semi or full auto. and. So just like the mag release, you do have the selector switch as ambidextrous as well. They give you these awesome PTS style sights. Um, these are PTS sights, so they're very expensive sights from the factory. So also on the E4 model, you have this tanker style stock, which is just like on the T6 or the TK45C. So it's pretty robust. They do make extensions for these. Um, Ultimately though, the feel of this thing and how light it is, the polymer that they use is really, really strong. So you're not gonna have to worry about it breaking. I mean, if you don't want a metal gun and just don't want to change anything with the front rail and just love this front rail, I mean, this thing is insane for the price. Now that we looked at the externals of this, let's look at the externals of the Eve 9. The Eve 9 is exactly like the Eve 4 and you still have the PTS front and rear sights. You do have that charging handle for your hop up. The only difference is you go from a four inch rail to a nine inch rail. You still get the same grip, same body, same everything. And then the only other change besides the longer rail is you get this full stock with the PTS stock. Now this PTS stock is kind of expensive normally. It's normally like a 40, $50 stock. So you get it with the Eve 9. The great news is it looks like if you ever want to shorten an Eve 9 down to an E4, you can still use the Eve style rail system here and a shorter outer barrel and, ch and change the rail length of your Eve 9 into an E4 or vice versa. Um, what we talked about with the Eve 4 is that the polymer on these is ridiculously strong. There are some nuances with how it's built and put together, but most of it's like an M4. And, you know, like I said, it's this is a very strong polymer body that's lightweight that if like you don't want a metal body, this is the way to go. So now that we've seen the externals and the high quality externals of the polymer, we're gonna look at the insides. Now this is the one thing that's very interesting with, K with what KWA has done. They put their most expensive gearbox in a polymer body. See, most manufacturers, when they sell a lesser expensive gun, would put a detuned kind of gearbox. So in this, you get the KWA 2.5 plus gearbox, which has an adjustable FPS feature in the back. It is quick change and is gate tight and ready. So it's their high-end gearbox, not detuned in just a polymer body and a price on both of these sub of $250. That is kind of unheard of for the industry. When everything's going up, this is actually something that's 
relatively affordable with pretty high quality when it comes to the externals and internals. So I think KWA is gonna knock this out of the park. What they're coming out with besides these is they're coming out a version of the Mod 1 in this polymer, Mod 2 in this polymer, Mod 3 in this polymer, as well as their TK45 in this as well. And I think these are gonna overtake quite a bit of KWA sales because if you think about it, like getting into the sport, this is a really high quality gun to start out with, number one, and or if you want a backup or a second gun, you know, this is a great option for you because you can just upgrade the internals like crazy if you want to, even though it already is a solid gearbox and you're getting a discount, quite a significant discount with just going with the polymer body. But this polymer body has all the features of a high-end M4 and has a little unique flair. So these are home runs. I think they're gonna be home runs for KWA. We so far have not been able to keep these in stock, but enough of me talking. You've heard me talk about and praise KWA and their accomplishments of this KO line. So let's go to the back and shoot these. We're gonna shoot the Eve 9 as well as the Eve 4. Now the Eve 4 the one we're gonna shoot is this limited edition version that we did do some slight upgrades with, including a gate tighten and a short trigger pull. So we're gonna shoot these both stock and modified so you can see what these do normally and then what you can do with some light upgrade. All right, so we got our KWA Eve 9 right here. This one is the stock version. Like I said, the great thing about this is the charging handle and the ease of changing the hop-up, the rotary hop-up. We got our target down there, Batman. He's looking for Rachel, and uh, I don't got no Rachel. So, I still got BBs left. Now I'm done. With all KWAs, you get this cutoff feature on some of the mags. That thing shot pretty straight, pretty accurate. Stock using 32 gram BBs, we're about 50 feet away. So not super far, but that shoots really awesome. Has a great rate of fire. But let's show you guys what you can do with some minor upgrades like a new inner barrel, a gate tighten, and a short stroked speed trigger. All right, so we got our upgraded version here. Um, we got our trigger ready to go. It's gonna be fun, I think. Yeah, what does fun mean? F is for fire, U is for utter destruction, N is for nailing. See how snappy you can make that? Jeez. All right. Still more BBs in there. All right, now we're done. All right, so with a little bit of tuning, the already great KWA U series, you can make just that much better. It's amazing, okay? I've had the time of my life. Look at how excited I am right now. I got to shoot Batman. So as you can see, the Eve series by KWA is the best. And as I put it back on the wall, we're not gonna put it back on the wall because you're gonna go out and buy them and buy them at MirTactical.com, best store in the entire nation, world, universe, multiverse, everything. Make sure you like and subscribe our channel here for more awesome reviews and we'll see you guys next time.